Open up with Dan Hope, 11 Warriors, and then we'll go with uh, Dylan Davis, Delaware, and Doucette. For uh, Devin, obviously, you weren't able to play today. Just uh, what happened to your finger, and when do you feel like you're going to be able to get back out throwing again? Um, yeah, it was just a slight little thing in practice. Just had a little procedure on it. Um, nothing crazy. Be back in four weeks or so. What was it like just watching today? Was that hard for you? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely hard knowing I could have been playing out there, but I mean, we were working for it all spring. But at the end of the day, I was just happy to be able to cheer my guys and do what I could. Okay, over here to the right, Dylan Davis. Kyle, where would you evaluate your command of the offense on so year three, you know, third spring now? Where would you evaluate, evaluate your command of the offense? Right? Yeah, I think you take every year, you take a step in, in the right direction. Um, whether that's, you know, spring and then to fall camp of the season, I think you learn a lot along the way. Uh, and I think, you know, you just, you, you get out of it what you put into it. I think the more film you watch, um, you know, the more reps you get, I think it just, it helps you take those steps. Uh, so I mean, you're there, I feel, feel pretty good. I feel like I, I came, you know, a long way than, than where I was when I first got here. Uh, so I feel like I'm in a good spot right now. Over here to the left, Andy Andrews, Buckeye Sports Bulletin. Uh, yes, for Kyle. Um, there was a throw early on to Marvin you had. You kind of layered it over the safeties nicely. It, yeah. it seems like you've always had a strong arm, but how have you developed that ability to layer throw over time? Yeah, it's something that we work in practice every single day. Uh, we call it a, a one-inch throw. Uh, so we'll put like a baseball net out there, and I mean, that's, that's the safety linebacker, whoever is dropping back in coverage, and you know you got to get it over to the linebacker, or whoever it is, and then drop it. Uh, into the receiver's hands. Uh, so it's something, you know, we work literally every single day. Uh, and, you know, it just shows up a lot in the game. Uh, so it's, you know, definitely something that, that we you know, make an emphasis on. Over here to the right, Austin Ward, Rivals, the podcast. Kyle, Coach Davis really kind of raving about the throw with Carnell, Carnell left for the touchdown. Yeah. I don't know if it's just because he wanted to see a yeah. passing touchdown or you did yeah. something special there. Yeah. Take us through that play. Yeah, so that was uh, the first play of the fourth quarter. So we had some time to talk about what look we were trying to get there uh, and what we wanted and so I mean Carnell ran a really good route the line I uh, did a good job of protection you know I, I made a, a good throw too so I think you know when all those things come together you know, that, that's that's the result it's a touchdown but I think it's a tribute to the, the 10 other guys and everybody doing their job and you know when that happens good things happen uh, over here uh, Tim May on three yeah for each of you guys uh, does it matter that uh, no one has declared a winner in this race yet I mean how do you how does this take you into the uh, the next offseason headed to the opening of a preseason camp. Yeah, the competition's been great. I mean, you know, we both know what it is, but I think at the end of the day, um, you know, Devin's definitely making me better, and I think vice versa as well. Um, so, you know, even though there's not a, a winner of the job yet, I think, you know, that, that's, that benefits both of us, honestly. You know, and I think it, it's going to push both of us going into fall camp, and, you know, there's still a lot of time until the season, so I think, you know, uh, just keeping I think, each other hungry, I think he'd say the same thing. Um, I think that's definitely the wise thing to do at this point. You know, just keeping each other uh, in check, keeping each other going. Uh, right next door, we'll look at Tim. Yeah. yeah, I mean, pretty much Kyle hit it right on the head. Um, we're trying to get each other better every single day, and that's all we can ask for is pushing each other. And I'd say Kyle would feel the same. You know, when you're with the best competition, you feel like you got to play your best, you got to bring it every day. Um, but at the end of the day, we just want what's best for the team, and whoever's going to win the job is that guy. And how much of a bummer was it for you to have to watch this last week? Yeah, I mean, obviously it sucked, but at the end of the day, I felt like I had a good uh, few practices in the spring. I think I had 10 practices before the Saturday, or I think it was 11, something like that. Yeah. But uh, felt like I had enough days that just really feel good about, still feel good about my spring and not really have to worry about the rest of it. Uh, Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. For Kyle. Kyle, did you, what did you get out of the spring? Did you get as much out of the spring as you hoped? Was there something you wish you had proven that maybe you didn't? Uh, how do you kind of feel coming out of spring? Yeah, the, the spring went well. I mean, obviously spring is a time where you know, we're putting in new stuff, seeing if it works, you know, seeing what's good for us and what's not good for us. Um, so it's definitely, you know, I'd say a little bit of a learning period. Uh, but at the same time, you know, you want to build that chemistry with the guys. Um, and, you know, I think going with the ones and the twos in the spring is good. That way, you know, I'm building chemistry with, you know, six, seven, eight receivers, you know, four tight ends, all that. You know, you're, you're getting good reps uh, with the whole offense. Um, so I, I, I definitely feel like the spring will